All right, here we go. Oh, hi guys. Um, this is Marshall Studios Forever here. Um, Marshall Studios Forever is taping you from a live audience today. Um, I gotta say today, um, there's, um, there, it's been, it's been a crazy week for me and also, I have not been vacuum cleaner hunting this week because I have not been going to thrift stores or any flea markets or any yard sales yet. Um, I didn't go to a yard sale I didn't go any, um, any thrift store vacuum clear hunting or maybe going to Goodwill, going to the flea market or maybe East State sells, um, or maybe going to pawn shops. I haven't done that in a long, long time. And for first of all, um, I haven't gone to pawn shops in a very long time, and I haven't gone to any of the warehouses in a long time, and and I haven't gone to a vintage warehouse or maybe the flea market or old Paris flea market. Um, I haven't been there in a very long time. The last time I went in there, it was 2019 to go look around and and find some vacuum cleaners in there. There were no vacuums um, the last time, okay? Uh, any vintage ones I, I need to find. Well, everybody, um, I still need to go to go to OK Family Thrift Store. I still need to go to go to a yard sale to find some vintage vacuums or any vintage upright vacuum cleaners I can find or maybe some vacuum cleaners are made from the 70s, made from the 60s and 70s and maybe the 80s, I believe. Um For first of all, um, I needed to go vacuum cleaner hunting on September 16th. Um, I've been saving up all of my money, all of my stuff I need to be doing. And for first of all, I have not been going to any flea markets yet, any vacuum cleaner huntings yet, or any of the... Um, any of the garage sales or maybe an indoor yard sale place or maybe going to a garage sale at a church and I didn't really get I've been to a garage sale in the past before at the church um, I, I did before and I was thinking about finding some vintage vacuum cleaners at a at a garage sale, at a yard sale, maybe um, the flea market, Old Paris, or maybe um, at at thrift stores, and or maybe at the East State sales or pawn shops or Craigslist. Sometimes I go on Craigslist, not all the time, you know. I will find some vintage vacuum cleaners at an East State sale. Um, if I go to a place, it has a whole lot of vacuums. I'll let you know, okay? And I will be finding a place where I can find all my vintage vacuums. Um, and I will let you know in advance if I find a vintage vacuum cleaner was in good condition. It looks brand new. I'll let you know, okay? If it was a little dirty on the bottom, I'll wipe it out. I'll clean it up. 
um, I'll claim the bag out of there too. I'll, I'll let you know in advance if I ever do that, okay? Well, everybody, make sure you click thumbs up, hit subscribe, click down below what you like to see, and let me know if you want me to do a video on my Hoover Encore Lemon Edition. Um, if I wanted to do it, I'm okay with that. And for first of all, today's been Friday. Um, Today's Friday, everybody, and also I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure everything's gonna be all right. Okay, my dad has watches my YouTube videos, and he loves to be part of the vlog too. Okay, and and I'll get him on vlog on Sunday if he wants to. It might be his birthday to do that. Okay, here to let you know. Okay, bye.